Hello. Ooh. <coughs> Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. We're just going to be doing a get ready with me for work. Um, this isn't like my normal every single day get ready with me because I work at 3 p.m. today, which is like the latest I've started in a long time. And I like had a shower. I'm going to blow dry my hair and do my makeup. Most of the time I'm in a rush to get to work and I just do like a quick makeup look and put my hair in braids or in a claw clip or something. But we're going to like actually try today and feel pretty. I painted my nails last night. They're like this really cool like bluey gray color. But yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of a life update too because I said I would let you guys know why my last week's video was late and actually like last week's video was supposed to be the week before. It was a whole week late. Um, Yeah, so I'm gonna explain that. But we're gonna start with the hair because I think it's at that point where it's like dry enough yeah, so I can't really talk while I do that, so you're just gonna have a little time lapse of me doing my hair, it'll be in rollers, and then we'll do our makeup. Okay, I decided to move the camera there for this get ready with me because I feel like it. My mirror is right here, so if you see me looking, that's what I'm doing. But I'm just gonna keep adjusting the camera because I can't stop. Um, I don't have enough rollers for all my head, so that's why I do like these two of the bottom half. It honestly works out like fine, but whatever. We're gonna start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I was gifted this and it works really well. I really like it, so love that because now when I run out, I'm gonna have to buy it, but whatever. I don't know what I'm even talking about, but yeah, love that primer. Anyway, I don't really know how to like get into everything, but I just wanna say I'm gonna be talking about death and a lot in the family so if you're going through anything like that and you don't think you can listen to a conversation about it please skip this video but this is the elf halo glow i've started just using it on the like high points of my cheekbones since it is like too dark for me this just kind of blends in with my concealer and my blush and adds like a nice glow without making my whole face look like the wrong color and i kind of blend onto my nose with the leftover stuff but yeah i originally meant to post a video on time and then i was just working every day up until that video and I was editing the video after work and I was just like so exhausted for some reason like I'd get off work get home make dinner and I'd be like oh my god like I could actually go to sleep right now but I would edit my video and it just wasn't editing fast enough and I was like you know what I'm just gonna let my body rest because it needs it and I had the Wednesday off so I was like I'll just edit my video on Wednesday and get it up at the end of the day and it'll just be a day late whatever but Wednesday came around and I was just feeling like so super depressed couldn't edit it it was like 8 p.m and i was like i just laid in bed all day so you know i'm not mad at myself it sucks that that happened but you know it's one of those things and then i worked thursday friday so i was like you know what i'm gonna edit it this weekend because i actually had saturday sunday monday off i never get weekends off so it was kind of crazy and then at work on friday i had a missed call from my dad and i texted him and i was like hey like what's up because a lot of the times he like phones me without meaning to phone me and I was just like did you mean to phone me and he said yes phone me when you have a second and I was like I'm on my break so I only have about five minutes left do you want me to phone you now and he said no can you phone me on your lunch break and I was like oh yeah sure whatever so I phoned him on my lunch break and my dad isn't the best at like giving bad news um he's just like not very like good at it <laughs> I don't know he just and he wasn't supposed to tell anyway I'll tell you he's like your grandpa's not doing well your mom your brother and I saw him yesterday because my grandpa's been in a home for a while he has he had Alzheimer's um, quite bad. Like I've had to reintroduce myself to him every time I've seen him for the past like few years because he just doesn't remember who I am. My dad's like, yeah, he's not doing well. So um, we're gonna go visit him tomorrow. Do you have the day off? And I said, yes. So we went to go visit my grandpa. He really wasn't doing well. And I spent the entire three day weekend at the home with him and my family. And my grandpa ended up passing away Sunday night. And yeah, I wasn't there when he passed away. I spent 13 hours hours at the home that Sunday we kind of like switched off so someone was with my grandpa at all points but unfortunately I you know I'm kind of glad I wasn't there when he actually did pass away because I don't I don't know I feel like it would have been hard to see um it was already like hard it was just such a stressful time he wasn't conscious the whole time and it was really hard just like sitting there in a room with him laying in the
the bed like just barely breathing the whole time i don't know it was like horribly stressful <laughs> and i know it seems kind of weird saying it was stressful for me because i know he was dying but the nurses assured us that he wasn't really feeling anything but yeah so my grandpa passed away and i like it wasn't like a huge shock we kind of knew it was coming it's still like super unfortunate and so sad yeah it's just like i always in the back of my mind knew it was coming but i didn't know it would be so soon and i just didn't get any sleep at all i couldn't sleep and i was so mentally exhausted and like my mom was really sad obviously because it was her dad and it was just like i don't know we had like some family drama as well <laughs> between like other family members who were there and it was not fun it was kind of crazy i've never been so stressed and like terrified in my life that's a lie but it was like super stressful <laughs> but yeah i'm doing a lot better about it now but i just you know i didn't have any time to edit my video or upload it because i was literally in the home for like 13 hours for three days in a row and then i had work on tuesday and monday i spent with my sister and my mom and my dad and yeah it was just like one of those things i don't know i haven't lost a family member in quite some time so it was like a weird feeling like we lost two dogs in 2022 which was super traumatizing and sad because i literally had to watch the one die in my arms and the other dog passed away in his sleep so i had to see him like after he died which i didn't really love but but anyway on to happier topics <laughs> um yeah i used the makeup forever concealer this one with the black lid i don't think they make this anymore on all my spots and then i used the fenty concealer under my eyes that hasn't changed i've literally used that fenty concealer for like three or four years i do need to get another one soon because I'm running low. I forgot how annoying it is to do your makeup with your hair and rollers because you just have little hairs always getting in the way and just like, you know, not minding their own business. And I've started kind of contouring again. I used the Fenty Matchstick in Amber. Um, I just kind of do like lightly on the cheekbones. I don't know. I feel like it just brings a little bit of color into my face because I'm so deadly pale. I don't know. Especially because last summer I barely got any freckles compared to my usual amount. So I just feel like I literally have none left now that I I look just extra ghostly and pale which there's nothing wrong with don't get me wrong but yeah i don't know i'm just not feeling like my usual self um really weird i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate but loss really does kind of make you think about life and the way your life can change in an instant but everything else just keeps going on like normal and it's such a weird isolating feeling like i didn't tell any of my coworkers what happened because i was like how do i how do i even do that like i'm just showing up for work and doing my thing and everyone was just acting like everything was normal but i knew it wasn't i don't know i don't know that probably sounds dramatic but whatever um i'm feeling like a lot better today it was kind of nice starting at three today because i just like slept in been reading my book and i made some dumplings for lunch had a shower now i'm getting ready the only not fun part is that I'm working until 9 tonight, which I hate working until 9. Hopefully we can get out a bit early, like 8.30 or something when we're closing, but yeah, I just hate working until 9. It feels so late. And then by the time you get home, it just feels like time to go to bed. <laughs> I don't know. And I use the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Worth. I really like this one. I also have Hope that I use sometimes, but it's just like the mini one. But I have a Hope I've had for so long. Um, You probably remember it from my older videos, but yeah, I think Worth is like a really nice shade. On my skin tone i don't know and then i have the sephora collection setting spray it's like pretty nice it's not amazing but i just needed a setting spray so and then i use my little pimple patch pack and dry it and no matter what I do, I always get like creases under my eyes. So I try to pat them out after the setting spray and I powder them instantly with the Maybelline like loose setting powder and I put it on a little brush and just do it like that. I try to keep the least amount of product around my eyes to prevent the creasing even though it still creases anyway but i just find the more product you have the more there is to crease at least on me because everything just creases i don't get it but this has been working better a little bit under the contour brighten up those cheekbones and by the nose where i get really red and i kind of reverse contour the nose too i put the really highlighting stuff just beside where you would like contour your nose so it's like it makes it look like you contoured your nose even though you didn't if that makes sense and i bake where i have a little bit of acne my skin's looking so good right now. Like I know I was literally crying about it in the last video, but it's clearing up a bit. Did I do anything to cause it to clear up? No, I have no idea what it's doing. The weirdest part is usually around my period is when I get the clearest skin and then the rest of the month is just like mayhem. So I don't know what that's about. But yeah, I'm gonna take these two rollers out at the bottom because they are pissing me off, but they should be okay. 
we'll just leave them like kind of curled like that but that feels so much better <laughs> okay and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of a light brown eyeshadow it's from the tarte pro to go palette that i've been using forever and i just put it in the crease and i bring it up and out to emphasize that eye shape you know it looks a little more lifted even though my eyes are a completely different shapes so it's not like you could really tell anyway but i just haven't been in the mood to do like fun makeup recently like i said in my last video like i have been feeling really ugly <laughs> which makes me feel uninspired and it's partially because i absolutely hate my hair lately i think i'm gonna book a haircut on my Monday because I get paid on Friday and I'm like I was thinking to myself I'm like I'm gonna treat myself to like one self-care thing each paycheck and this one is going to be a haircut there's a place nearby like a new salon that kind of opened up and they have a deal for first-time clients that's a lot cheaper than haircuts everywhere else and I don't have to drive all the way into town and then I kind of contour with that brown eyeshadow as well but it's like a two-minute drive from my house so that'll save me on gas money and all that extra money for a haircut so I'm excited to try it out I just kind of want to get like all my dead ends trimmed off and then I think I want to get like shorter curtain bangs or like wispy fringe looking bangs the last time I got the bangs you guys remember the story I asked for like wispy bangs and she just cut straight across bangs which was not what I asked for it wasn't like as bad as it could have been but I didn't love it and then I'm thinking maybe my next paycheck I'm gonna dye my hair I just I have my whole life to be gray I don't need to be gray in my 20s like I totally respect anyone that like is growing out their gray hair that's premature graying like power to you I wish I liked mine I just don't I feel like it really looks weird on me so I can be gray in my 30s or 40s or whenever I decide I want to be gray and this is the Anastasia brow Wiz in medium brown by the way I just feel like this brow pencil is so good like I know it's expensive but it works good but I know they have just as good ones at the drugstore don't get me wrong I didn't buy this so <laughs> I try to bring this eyebrow a little bit farther in the inner corner because it's shorter than this one but nothing too obvious because I just feel like I'm not good at drawing like hair like strokes that look natural and I don't like the super boxy brow look because I made that mistake in 2015 16 17 <laughs> those years I had horrible eyebrows the dip brow was not kind to me um yeah so i try not to go back to that era okay and then for some reason my spoolie on my eyebrow pencil always has little bits of like brown on it so i just kind of brush them away with my powder brush which also kind of sets the brows as well it blends them a little bit they don't look as harsh I don't know that's what I like to do okay time check it's 107 I have to be out of here in about an hour to make it to work on time so we're looking good because I wear a uniform to work so oh, fuck, I love water I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little bit of a brown shadow liner today because why not I have the dark brown in this palette styling <laughs> I think this is the same one I used in my last video I just like to do a little bit of a shadow liner okay for the longest time I avoided listening to Ethel Kane because she's just been so popular on tiktok and i was just like i don't know i don't usually get into like super popular artists on tiktok like boy genius and ethel kane and lizzie mcalpine i don't know those ones that you kind of like see blow up on tiktok i just don't usually listen to them because i feel like you hear a lot of their music on the app and then you kind of get sick of their music i don't know but then someone was talking about sun bleached flies by ethel kane and i was like fine i'll give it a listen i obsessed with it i literally had it playing on loop while i was reading a book the other night like i think i listened to it for like an hour and a half straight i don't know man it's really good so if you haven't listened to it listen to it i've kind of given up on the fact that my eyeliner isn't always going to be even um i don't know where my brush went oh there it is like i know it's just like it's they're sisters not twins whatever but i usually grab a little bit of powder on the powder brush and bake underneath to kind of give it like a crisp line and help it like look a little bit sharper and a little more even and kind of blend it out a bit so it's not as dark the whole way through because sometimes the angled brush just kind of makes it seem dark the whole way through and i'm gonna bring a little bit on to the lower lash line as well sorry if you can hear that pepper's playing with her toy in the living room hi sweetie what's wrong and then if you take any tips from this video i think you should take this one but i use colourpop flexitarian highlighter and i get a little bit just on my finger put it right on the cheekbone i don't use too much just like enough to add a little bit of a glow i bring a little bit under the brow bone as well and i'll do the nose and the inner corners in a minute but the special tip is i grab a blush brush and my nars orgasm blush which is a powder blush and i put it right on top of the rear 
beauty blush and the highlighter so it kind of mixes them together so you don't get that like stripe of highlighter it kind of blends them but still creates a glow i don't know i just feel like it looks more natural this way but without like sacrificing highlighter because i know i think like highlighter isn't as popular anymore i don't really know i still love highlighter i'll probably use it forever but yeah it just really blends them together it makes them look nice then i just take like this little brush and do the highlighter on my nose and my inner corners because i love a little bit of highlighter on the tip of my nose i don't know i'm trying to decide like i kind of want to switch my makeup and start doing like dark inner corners you know with like liquid eyeliner do like the cat eye inner corner because i think that would look good on my eye shape because sometimes i feel like they look too far apart when i do the highlight in the inner corner but that's another day another day's problem and i'm also trying to decide if i should do brown in my waterline we'll see we'll do mascara first i feel like i'm missing a step but i don't know what it is so whatever i guess cleaning my lash curler a bit because it's kind of disgusting it's weird like i never curl my lashes when they have mascara on them but i still get so much shit in my lash curler like i don't know what it is but anyway i curl one eye at a time because i have the straightest eyelashes i think i've said that like so many times on my channel but i do everything i can to get them to hold a curl and i think i've kind of found the recipe but yeah my strongest tip if you have super straight eyelashes just keep curling them when you think you've curled them enough you're only halfway done like just keep curling them pinching in different spots lightly pinching and then dragging upwards like this just keep curling and kind of feather the curler like that and it helps like get a more natural look and then the biggest tip is a waterproof mascara i use the maybelline lash sensational it's at like the perfect consistency now where it's almost empty so it's like nice and dry without being too dry because it's oh i just dropped it i got mascara all over my robe but anyway it's like dry and then i just use like the comby part and comb up the lashes i like to look in a mirror below me and brush them upwards that's just the best way for them to stay up i find and i hate when it gets clumpy so i pick out any clump and then redo the mascara in that area it's more prone to clumping now because it's like quite dry but sorry i ran out of storage my nose is running like a tap so that's gonna be there for now the lashes aren't turning out amazing today but i don't really care and sometimes my curler does that where it gets rid of a little bit of makeup so i just grab my powder brush again and kind of blend it away i'm lucky because i wear glasses so if i think it's kind of messed up near the nose or like inner eye area it's usually covered so this is like gross i know but my nose just starts running when i do my makeup it's not like a certain step that it starts running it just starts running i don't know what it is but i'm gonna do this eye with mascara now i'm not gonna film it because that's a lot but you'll see it me when it's done i can't believe how dark and dreary it is is outside today it's literally like so foggy but um this is the same as my last makeup video i used the l'oreal voluminous original mascara in burgundy on my lower lashes i really like this one it brings out the green in my eyes and i like it but the only thing is one time i cried in this and then i had like purple streaks down my face so i don't recommend crying if you're wearing burgundy mascara but yeah the burgundy is super subtle like i feel like most people don't even notice it but i do and i like it and i like the way my eyes look better with the bottom mascara i'm trying to decide if i want to do my waterline and tight line with brown we'll see it adds like a little extra zhuzh to the makeup you know and sometimes i add a little bit of the burgundy to the outer corners just on top of the black mascara you can't really tell but it just adds like a little extra something and yeah that's that yeah let's just take our rollers out before we decide what we're doing with um our lips and our waterline there's no rhyme or reason to the way i take these out i just take them out i don't know i've seen people say you're supposed to like twist them like that sometimes that works for me sometimes that doesn't oh okay and i don't currently own any hairspray or hair oil anything like that so my hair doesn't really last that long like this it just keeps it nice and smooth because my natural hair is just frizzy no matter what i do it's just frizzy so i like to do this and it keeps most of the frizz down um and it gives me a little bit of volume because i have quite fine hair okay we'll just let that sit and do our lips okay it looks so weird tucked behind my ears but i'm just gonna let it mellow i have like i love the blue blistex lip balm like you guys remember if you watched my like december diaries the first one i think it was i got one from the dollar store like a blistex tub of lip balm and the other day at work i had it in front of my purse in my locker and then i forgot and i went on my next break and i pulled my purse out of my locker and the blistex just went flying in the break room could not find it anywhere i even had a coworker helping me look for it we couldn't find it it literally just like transported 
shifted to another dimension which is crazy because the exact same thing happened to one of my other co-workers like a month ago like it was her vape though <laughs> like the mouth part of her vape just blew off she couldn't find it anywhere and it's just like what's in that break room like why is everything disappearing but anyway now my lips are kind of like not as moisturized which sucks but actually i think i want to do like a purpley lip i'm gonna use my mac whirl lip liner that needs to be sharpened this is like i think i did i don't know if i did this lip combo in my last video i kind of change my lip combo often but mac lip liner in whirl it's like i just love this color it's so nice i just feel like it's like my lip color but better like it looks so natural i don't know mac lip liners apply best on like dry lips so that's why i went with that one today and then i'm gonna use the elf core lip shine in ecstatic it's like a very purpley color and it's like a lip balm so it'll be like my bliss sticks <laughs> there is something on my lip it's nice because it's not like too dark i just love these kind of like purpley tones and i like the look of like a blotted lip so i kind of like blend it and like wipe it away in certain areas just to look like i've been wearing it for a while because at work you don't really get a lot of time to reapply but yeah i think i'm gonna do a white eyeliner actually in my eye like a i have this one that's like a pale pink i think we're gonna do this instead of brown I'm just not feeling the brown and i just kind of do it on like the outer part of the eye to make my eyes look a little bit bigger but yeah thanks for getting ready with me this is the finished look um obviously i'll wear my uniform when it's time but i fix this but yeah look how long my hair is getting like it's kind of crazy but i do need to trim off like probably a couple inches because the ends they are crispy i'm not gonna lie but yeah this is my hair feels so nice and soft that's why i love to blow dry it i don't know like blow drying it makes it feel so much better than when i let it air dry i don't know the science behind that but yeah this is me ready for work but yeah, and this is like my everyday makeup mainly. Like if I'm in a rush, I'm gonna skip a couple steps or change it up. And I do change my lips pretty often. This is like my most common other than using like Pillow Talk liner and like Fussy by Fenty. That one's a go-to or like a dupe for this one that I have is NYX Nude Suede Shoes liner. Or sometimes I'll just throw on like a little bit of a lipstick and then a gloss. It's just like always different. But this is like one of my go-tos that I love to do yeah this is real this is me now i've got to take a picture for the thumbnail and i haven't taken a selfie in a long ass time i think i just took some banger selfies so the lighting is like great but anyway um okay thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week